Man by Thomas and Friends. This is a story about Duncan, the narrow gauge engine. Duncan used to complain about his passengers, but this changed when Shark Louis told a story about how Rinia saved the railway. One morning, Shark Louis was in the yard being polished by Nancy, the guard's daughter. Shark Louis was thinking about his friend Rinias who had gone away to be mended. Rinias comes home tomorrow, said Nancy. What? Tomorrow? Chirp Shark Louis. I must look my very best. Please polish me some more. You're such an old fool's pot, laughed Nancy. Then Khan was jealous. Aren't you going to polish me too? he asked. Sorry, I have to get the ice lollies ready for the passengers, said Nancy. It's not fair, Duncan complained. Peter Sam gets a new funnel. Sir Handel gets special wheels. Passengers get ice lollies, but I'm not even polished. Duncan enjoyed complaining and he soon began to sulk. That afternoon, there was bad news from up the line. One of Shark Louis' coaches has derailed. Called Duncan's driver. Well, we'll have to go there right away. Duncan took the workmen to sort out the mess. All this extra work, he grumbled. It wears an engine out. The, re the derailed coach was in the middle of the train, so Shark Louis had gone on the top station with the front coaches. Duncan brought the rear coaches home. He sold all the way back to the station. I get no rest, I get no rest, he muttered. He arrived back just in time for his own four o'clock train, but he was sulky and wouldn't move. Come on, we're keeping our passengers waiting, his driver reminded him. At last, they set off. Shortly before the next station, they came to a viaduct and Duncan ground to halt. I've had enough. I'm staying here, he snapped, and he did too. Shark Louis had to come down from the top station to haul Duncan and his train to the platform. The passengers were furious. They burst out of the train and told the drivers, the fireman and the guard, what a bad railway it was. Duncan was still sulky. Why should I have to work hard just to pull these silly old passengers? He asked, but no one was listening to him. The thin controller was waiting for Duncan at the shed. If you won't carry passengers, you won't get polished, he said sternly. I'd rather not be polished if it meant I didn't have to carry passengers, Duncan muttered to himself but he didn't dare say it loud enough to the thin controller to hear. I'm ashamed of you, Duncan, said Shark Louis that night. You should think of your passengers, not yourself. Passengers are just nuisances. They're always complaining, replied Duncan. That's no way to talk, said Shark Louis. We need passengers. No passengers means no trains. And no trains means no railway. I remembered when Renia saved a railway because he cared about the passengers. Please tell us about it, said Peter Sam. Shark Louis began. Renia knew we had to keep the trains running or our railway would have to close. He was often short of steam, but he always struggled onto a station and then rested when he got there. I mustn't stop between stations, he'd say. The passengers wouldn't like it. Shh, pshh, half Duncan. He had stopped on a viaduct and hadn't cared at all. One wet and windy afternoon, Shark Louis continued. When the rails were dumped, Renias was traveling home with a full train. 
Ah, I've got cramp, he groaned. Suddenly, and he stopped on the loneliest part of the line. His driver examined him. Your valve gear has jammed. We need to reach the next station. Do you think you can get us there? He asked. I'll try, replied Renias bravely. So the thin controller sanded the rails. Some passengers pushed from behind, and Renias jerked and began to move forward. I'll get there or burst. I'll get there or burst, Renias muttered to himself, and he moved slowly along the track until he finally reached the station. Thank you for getting us home, the passenger said. We'll tell all our friends that this is a really fine railway. And so you see what a brave engine Reneas is, said Shark Louis to Duncan. Thank you for telling us about him, whispered Duncan. I was wrong. Passengers are important after all. The next day, Reneas came home. The engines greeted him with a chorus of whistles. But the loudest whistle came from Duncan, who decided he would always put passengers first from then on.